Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So uh, today we'll make a quick video of the uh, chicks that we just hatched off. They're a few days old now, three or four days old, and uh, we got them in here in the broder. Got a heat lamp on them. It's a little cold out today. It's about 31 degrees. Uh, I got the uh, got a it's right at 90 degrees in here with the heat lamp. You can see that. I got it's 38 in the building. That's the indoor temperature. And then that little wire right here. I got it coming down in here. Is so right underneath this light right here is about 90 degrees. So uh, first week, 90 degrees is, is good. I'd like to I'd like to have it about 95 degrees, but I don't want to get them too hot. Uh, well, as the weather changes, I kind of got to move my light up and down to keep it uh, away from them because you don't want to get them too hot. Uh, you can see over here, I got another thermometer over here. This side of the this side of the box is cold it's 57 so they're staying over here where the light is uh, they got food and water they're doing good uh i'm not really sure this in here and this one and this one oh and that little guy right there are different these are uh Aust australorps black australorps i think is what these are just for my identification uh like I said, I got these eggs for free. Uh, I don't know nothing about their uh, the hen house that they come out of. I don't know what kind of chickens they have, but I'm pretty sure these are Australorps. If I'm saying that wrong, correct me. That's the way I pronounce it. But uh, so I got. I'm not sure what these little guys here are. This one is the lightest color, and this one. he's pretty or she i think this is a she but they're they're good and healthy they're eating and drinking uh, hopefully and we'll keep them in here in this uh in this building for two or three weeks and then uh it's uh today's like march uh, i'm not sure what the date is <laughs> 12th I think 12th or 13th and uh, so hopefully by two or three weeks it'll be April it'll be warm enough outside I can start introducing them to outside uh, I gotta get a little pen built my old chicken coop that I used to have is uh, kind of run down so I'm gonna build a new one I got about four weeks to build a new one so I gotta get on it I'll probably make some videos of that too but here's the little guys we watched them for the last 22 or 21, 22 days, we candled the eggs. We watched them in the incubator grow by candling them, and now we watched them hatch, and now here they are. Cute little fellers. We ended up with, uh, we ended up with nine. We uh, we started with twelve eggs. Uh, two of the eggs did not was not fertilized. Or, or if they was fertilized, they just didn't take. But uh, one we ended up with ten fertilized eggs, and one unfortunately did not didn't hatch. It I don't know if it was just just weak or but it did have a chicken side of it. It just didn't hatch. It just, I guess it died before it could get strong enough to hatch, which is sad, but that's nature. We do have nine healthy chicks, though, so I think nine out of 12 is a pretty good hatch rate. I'm kind of excited to see, to watch them grow up and see what they look like, see how many roosters I got. I think uh, I was looking at them, and I know I got at least, like, I, I don't know what these are, so you can't really sex them by looks. Uh, there's a few breeds that you can. 
I have, uh, I'm pretty, become pretty good with sexting, uh, barred rocks at the chick age just by the color and they got a spot on the back of their head that you can look at and uh i'm pretty good at pretty good at doing them but i don't know what these are so i don't know but just looking at the just looking at the way their feathers are forming already i got a, i think i got a few roosters in here no uh, i think I think it's right here is one of them. I think it's right here is a rooster. Oh, come back. I'm sure there's ways of people been doing it for a long time. Uh, but if you look at their wing feathers, the, that, that looks like a rooster to me plus. He's already got like a little bit of a comb. Usually uh, roosters get their combs earlier than hens. But I don't know. It may be hen. Who knows? I wish I had some uh, leg bands that was small enough I could band them and uh, be able to tell them apart when they get older. Because usually when they're this size, by the time they get bigger, they look completely different. You can't remember which one is which. But uh, I need to invest in some bands. If I next hatch that we do i might i might invest in some bands but this little guy right here he, he is just the, or she whatever this one right here he's just the cutest that thing is adorable doesn't like to be petted not yet and this one like this one likes it Alrighty, well, we'll wrap this one up. Uh, just want to give y'all a, a closer look at the at the chicks. They're doing good. Uh, they're eating, drinking. They're healthy. So uh, I'll keep you posted. Uh, we'll do through the different stages of growth. Um, they'll start getting in about three to four weeks. They'll start getting. You already see the ones with the the wing feathers are starting to get pointy. They'll start getting that all over their body, and they kind of start looking goofy when they're juveniles. But I'll keep you posted through the whole growing process until they're fully grown chickens. All right, thanks for watching.